Welcome back, aliens. This is Navin Reddy from Tadisco Learnings, and this is our first QA session. So I'm getting this request from a long time about QA session, so that you can you can ask me questions and I will answer it. Uh, so basically, we, it's it's been two years uh, for this channel. I know, and from in this two years, I got 1.8 million views and approximately 14,000 subscribers. And if you are one of the subscriber, thank you so much for the subscription. So. Uh, from last two years, I'm getting lots of questions about uh, depend upon technical. There are some technical questions. There are some uh, career choices and all those type, all those stuff. Right. So I'm getting these questions on uh, YouTube comments, YouTube messages, Facebook messages, and WhatsApp messages. So what what I have done, I have collected all those questions, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll be dealing with these questions in the in this QA series. So this is the first video, a trial video for the QA. So if you if you liked this video, just make sure you like on the like button so that I will get motivated for this type of sessions more. If you have some, uh, you know, if you have some, uh, what do you say, some suggestions, you can post in the comment section so that I will, uh, for those suggestions, I will make, I will try to make this much better. So, uh, so what I have done, I have taken some some set of questions from last two months from the YouTube comments. I have not touched the YouTube messages and Facebook messages yet. So we'll start with YouTube comments and then we'll move towards Facebook uh, things, all those things. So this is just last two months uh, questions, which so basically questions maybe of two types. One, it one it can be very technical questions. For example, uh, how to solve file not found exception and how to how to set up the environment. That that that, that those are very technical questions. In this series, we'll talk about the generalized concepts like the career career choices how to learn something and all those stuff. So the first question what we have today is from uh, Rajesh uh, and the question is to get a job in Java, should I have a Oracle certification or any institute certification? So the thing is, uh, you know, there was a time, you know, long back, maybe five to six years back, if you say you want to be a Java programmer, so having a certificate in your hand gives you an edge, right? It's because at that time there were no, there were no way to prove that the person knows something or not. Example, let's say you are you don't know Java much and then uh, you are preparing for the interview two days back. You have gone through lots of websites. You have learned lots of basic concepts. You're going for the interview and then interview asks you some questions and then luckily or fortunately you're able to answer. For an interview, you know Java, but technically you don't know Java, right? Because you have worked only two days. So how to prove that the person knows so if you have if you have if you are oracle certified then you know it, it makes sense but in current generation if you talk about the current programmers uh, if you want to be a java programmer instead of doing certification you can do that that's one of the still you know you will get an edge if you are uh, certified but i will suggest with certification or if you don't if you're not going for certification what you should do is start working on projects uh, not the uh, maybe actual project but you know, you can work on demo projects. So in every every person, they have different ideas, right? So we have thousands of ideas in our mind. So let's say you want to you want to make your own railway app, you want to make your own mobile app. So you can what you can do is take the concept which in, which you have in your brain, write on the paper, and start implementing it. And trust me, those projects will matter more than certification. But how your your interviewer knows that you have done that project? So upload your projects on GitHub. Uh, so if you upload your project on GitHub, you can share the link with the interviewer and then they will check the, your projects and you will get hired. Okay. So, so summary of that, if you want to be, if you want to do certification, go for it. Okay. But the only thing is you have to pay around 10,000 rupees per exam. So if you, if it is not that uh, comfortable with you, make projects and upload it on GitHub. Okay. And yeah, so having a Oracle certification with you will matter, uh, not the institute certificate. No one, no one recognizes the institute certificate. Okay, next question is from Gautam. Uh, uh, he says, "I am very confused, and I want to do complex programs like building his own software, building his own, building softwares like Photoshop." But the thing is, when you go to internet, if you search for some resources, he says uh, you will only get programs like Palindrome. Uh, reverse a string and all the stuff right and no one uses this concept in the project so uh, what happens is when you want to build a project uh, let's say you want to learn something so every technology doesn't matter is it cooking 
or cooking uh, in your kitchen or making softwares or maybe playing football or anything. So we have, it goes into three levels. The first one is beginners level. The second one is intermediate and the third one is advanced, right? When you start with something, it always goes with beginners, right? You are a beginner for the technology. Then after that, you, you get your hands on that technology that's intermediate level and then further you will become expert in that, right? And when you say you're expert, that means you are the advanced programmer now. So uh, whenever you learn something new, we have to start with beginning, right? You have to start with very basics, the palindrome, all those, because this all concept will teach you what is programming. But your question is you want to become, you want to do some complex programming like building a Photoshop, right? If you want to build your own Photoshop, don't search resources on internet. You know the basics, right? Start the start with the concept. Uh, create, uh, you know, take a chart. Write down what you want to build. Let's say you want to build your own Photoshop or you want to build your own Facebook. Write it down what you want. Break the big task into small small tasks. Okay, and try to code those small tasks, those small things. And you know, fortunately, when you're when you're coding that those small stuff, you will be using palindrome. You will be using all those learn all the stuff you have learned in Code Java. Right. So what I will suggest, uh, start the implementation from today itself and build your own codes. Don't search for the resources on internet. Yeah, but let's say while building those things and if you if you got stuck somewhere, what you can simply do is go to Google and search for that specific type of error. Okay, and then it will solve your problem. Next, uh, so okay so the uh, so the problem is uh, before this also I have recorded the same video for 20 minutes and then suddenly I, have, I saw the thing so it was the recording was not done so let me just verify is it working the recording is working there okay great so okay. so now the next question is from Sachin Sachin says videos are awesome thank you uh, but the question will be yeah so the question is when I when when he sees or when he what is my video? He understands everything, but the problem is when you try to code, he, got, he gets stuck. Uh, it happens, you know, when you initially when you learn new language like C, C++ or Java, when you watch those videos, when you watch my videos, of course you will understand, right? But the problem is when you try to do it by yourself, you will get stuck. It happens with every programmer. It, was hap it, it happened with me also. So there's a very simple solution for this. And the solution is practice, okay? Let me tell you my story. When I was in... Uh, my college in my BSc IT. So at that time, I used to participate in lots of competitions. I used to comp I used to participate in intercourse competitions, online competitions. So at that time, there was a website was gild.com, G-I-L-D.com. So uh, that video, that so that competition. Uh, so the so you know uh, participating in the, in those competitions, I used to get lots of questions, and I used to answer those questions, and that's how I learned. So uh, in intercourse competition, when I when I go to different colleges for the competition, luckily I got lots of prizes. Approximately I have forty five prizes uh, in my uh, college level. So I used to participate in lots of competitions, and not every competition I used to win, but you know I used to uh, win a lot. So I used to I used to work very hard learning all those technologies, not just learning but practicing because. In the competition, you ha you will be having nothing. You will be having just a question. You have to solve it, right? So you have to practice a lot. So I used to I used to stay awake till two a.m. Uh, for practicing. So practicing is very important. So when you learn something, because when you learn something, it will go to your in in your RAM. Okay. So your brain is a RAM now. So which is random access memory, which is temporary me temporary memory. So as soon as you learn something new, you have to make sure that you store the data from your RAM into your hard drive. How to save data from your RAM into hard drive by practicing it. And not just practicing, practicing once or twice, you have to practice every day. Okay, so there's something which will vanish from your brain if you don't practice. So yeah, so how to remember things? Practice, okay, practice it a lot. Try different examples, make your own, uh, create your own idea and try to implement it. Okay, next is from Seth. What are the different reference book you will suggest? A different reference book for Java, so you can refer to one of my favorite book, which is Head First Java. Uh, if you want to learn Java in funny way, I know normally I follow this concept of teaching in, uh, you know, t make making teaching fun or ma making learning fun is very important, right? So you can refer a book called Head First Java. Uh, uh, you will learn lots of concepts in Head First Java. You'll understand what is objects, what is classes, and all those stuff. 
But the problem is head first Java, the latest version of head first Java has Java 1.5 version. So in that you will not, you will not learn 1.7 or 1.8 uh, concepts of Java. So for that, if you want to learn about new features of Java, just go for uh, Java Complete Reference. I guess ninth edition will do. So those are the books I will recommend. Otherwise, you can go to Java Docs online. You can go to Oracle website and you can refer the Java Docs. Okay. The advantage is they update it. Every, uh, you know, every time they have a new version. So that's the advantage you have on the Oracle documentation. Because when you buy a book. You know, it will not upgrade itself. So when you when you learn from websites, so they they can update, right? We have a soft copy. Okay, so those are the reference book for Android. Oh, sorry, for Java and for Android, you can refer uh, the professional Android development book. Uh, one of the amazing book you have. Otherwise, uh, the best resources to learn Android is the official Android developer website. So just go to Android developer, search for Android development uh, development Android. So you will. Uh, get the link there so that's one of the best resources to learn android okay otherwise you have my channel of course okay next uh, next question is from raj and raj says okay i'm new to programming learning c how much it is important to develop logic about patterns using loops okay is it important for big projects uh, of course not right uh, when you build a big project you will not do patterns i hope you know these patterns right you have to uh, so when you build patterns, what happens is you have to build a star pattern, right? So you'll be having star, triangular star, angular, uh, the equilateral star patterns. So those are not important in the project. No one will come to you or no company will say, uh, will ask you to make a project for patterns. But the thing is, when you will learn new programming, there are, three, there are three steps here. The first step is you have to understand the syntax of the programming. Second, you have to understand how to solve a given problem using that language. And then the third one is using advanced frameworks. When you learn the syntax, so when you refer any book, so they will teach you syntax, what is, what is int, what is float, what is for loop, what is while loop. But you need to also understand how to implement those things. So pattern is one of the thing which will teach you how to use for loop, how to solve a given problem using programming. So that, that's what patterns helps you because we need maturity right so uh, our brain is like we when you when you learn something new you will find it difficult because you're not you're not matured in that technology so to mature to get that maturity patterns will help okay next question is from narsim madri so yeah so what is the difference between java se and java ee developers uh, there's a huge difference between these two it's because when you start your career as Java developer, of course, you will be starting with Java SE, right? Because Java SE stands for Java Standard Edition. So the core Java is called as Java SE. And then we have Java EE, which is Enterprise Edition. So when you learn advanced topics like Servlet, JSP, EJB, Spring, so those, those things comes under Java EE. So all Java EE developers, they are by default SE developers, right? Because they know core Java. That's why they are working on advanced Java. So let's say you want to write EJB applications. Of course, you require core Java knowledge. So every Java EE developer is an Java SE developer, but not every Java SE developer is Java EE developer. It's because after learning core Java, you can learn Android. So you are an Android, Android developer and you know Java SE, right? So J core Java is like a base. So Java SE is a base. On that, you have Java EE, then Java Web Components, then we have Java uh, Mobile Edition, which is ME. So Java SE is core Java, Java EE is advanced part. So when you start with your career with Java, you are a Java SE developer. Once you learn the advanced frameworks like Spring, Hibernate, uh, EJB, you become a Java EE developer. Next question is from Deep. I know the basics of, basic concept of C, can I learn Java directly? And the same question is from A Raj. And he says he knows C but not C++. Can I learn directly Java? So we have two similar questions. And the answer is yes. You can learn Java directly from C. So once you know C, you can learn Java. But it, you can also learn Java without C. So let's say you don't know C, you can directly learn Java anyway. So just you just have to take out a book, learn. The thing is, you will find it damn difficult to understand what's happening. It's because Java is a technology which needs some sort of maturity in the programming world. 
example when you learn c programming the first code you see is hello world right and then you know you you hate it that much to write hello world you have to write five lines what about it uh, the second code so whenever you learn new language like c uh, the second code will be, will be addition of two numbers so you have to write 10 lines of code to add two numbers what the hell right so uh, you need some sort of majority when you go for java you cannot say wh why we are writing all those stuff so you need to understand what is programming and for that you should learn c or python depending upon your taste right so you, you can you have to understand what is programming using python or c now once you have learned c programming you know what is programming but you don't know what is oops because one of the amazing concept to build software is oops concept is object oriented programming so to understand how oops works you can you can use oops and you can use c programming and that is c plus plus right and now once you learn c plus plus you know the basic concepts of oops now you can learn java and it will be very easier now to understand java because you have the knowledge of c plus plus that doesn't mean you should know c plus plus you can learn java directly but steps are c c plus plus and java okay and the next question is from rambo why not use eclipse or netbeans i guess this question is on the code where i have used notepad whenever you learn new language you should always start with uh, notepad because it will teach you how to remember the syntax then once you know the syntax then start with some ides you can start with netbeans you can use eclipse you can use intellij one of the best ide now is intellij right but still uh, if you follow my tutorials the first well, one or two videos i have talked about notepad after that i have used netbeans and then later videos i have eclipse so i tried to make you understand all these three different uh, different area where you can type and uh, the java code maybe in future i'll be using intellij for the videos okay so you can use any id depend upon your requirement depend upon your company's requirement and depend upon your interest so i will suggest use eclipse one of the best ide because it is free right and the last question for the day uh from piyush he says are you maharashtrian sir uh okay uh, first of all i i live in mumbai but i'm a south indian so uh, my accent is mumbai accent but i'm a south indian i don't i don't look like south indian right but i'm a south indian yeah that's it from this session so uh, this is just a trial qs session if you have liked this video make sure you comment let me know what is what is going right and what is going wrong for these videos and so that i can improve myself there's always a opportunity to, to improve, right? And there's one more thing. That's my website name. That's salusco.com. Just go to my website. And so when you go to the website, there's a link of feedback. Okay, so there's a side link called as feedback. Just make sure you give the feedback for my videos. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and do subscribe.